Hey guys, this is a smooth spy, and right now I'm coming with you a, a solution to an issue that I had involving StarCraft 2 on Windows 10. Now, I originally got StarCraft 2, I know it's uh, I'm coming kind of late into the party, but I had a friend who really wanted me to get into it, so I was like, alright, you know, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go buy it. So after I installed Windows 10, and it got into the game, and that's when it happened. Severe lag in the, men in the menu. I'm talking like you would click on something, wait a full minute before it would respond. I know that it seemed like a lot, but I, in the main menu, that is insane. That's just unacceptable. I was like, what's wrong with this? Because my specs far outmatch the recommended system requirements. It would take us forever to get into the game. Once we got in the game, everything was fine, though our voice chat would go in and out sometimes. And what I found out was that StarCraft 2 was using 100% of the CPU core. 100%. I mean, a Grand Theft Auto 5 with mods that doesn't use 100%. And I could still voice chat and all that good stuff. He was just hogging all the resources. I'm like, why? So I scoured over, over YouTube, um, over the internet, and I couldn't find an answer. Which was surprising. Um, my friend who had Windows 8.1 at that time still had the issue as well. So uh, I found some people complaining that it was a Windows 10 thing. Some people saying that it was just a StarCraft thing. It was just a bug or something. I'm like, okay, this is StarCraft. This is like some random indie game. This is a big game. Why isn't this thing fixed? So, after digging a lot around from some forums, forums, I found an answer. I forget where I found the forum. Otherwise, I would mention the guy's name and thank him. But he gave a possible a solution that worked, and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. And so that way you can actually play StarCraft 2 until they give out a patch that can fix it. I don't know why. What's stopping it? I don't know. If it's Battle.net, I'm all new to StarCraft and working with Battle.net and all that stuff. So forgive me if I missed a few things. But anyway, so how? What? here's how to fix it. You're going to first launch the game. I don't know if my video capturing is just going to die when, when it starts to cause it's use 100% of my CPU core. I don't know if you'll even hear this. We're going to start it up. We're going to wait for the game to get in the menu, and if it'll show it, because it may just stop recording from using 100% of the CPU, we'll see. But it's going to co come to a crawl at the menu in a sec, and we wait. And here we go. It's an awesome game, though, StarCraft. wasn't t too bad getting into a game, getting out of a game, not going to work. Alright, now you're going to Alt-Tab out, and you are going to open your Task Manager, which is Control-Shift-Escape. Now, StarCraft is not going to show using 100% as of right now, because they're not really doing anything, but I have Alt-Tab at other times seeing using 100%. Anyway, you're going to go to... Details. You're gonna scroll down to you see cs2.ex. Oop, there it is. You're gonna right-click. You're gonna go to set affinity, and you're gonna disable one of your cores. I have, I have a quad core, so just undo one of them. Now, I did have a friend who only had a dual core. This is actually the friend I was talking to you about. He had a dual core. He D disabled one, only going on a single core, and it still worked. So even if you have a dual core, it'll be fine. If you have a quad core, hex core, or even an octo core, don't worry, you're fine. Just um, this is gonna fix the issues. You can hit OK, and that's that. You can go and back into the game, and now it's gonna run as it should. It's gonna load everything. You can exit in and out. Bim Bim bada bam, there you go. Problem solved. Now you will have to do this every single time you turn on the game. So keep that in mind. I don't know why. Hopefully there'll be a patch. Perhaps it's with Windows 10. Who knows? All I know is I found the uh, s s solution thanks to the one guy on the forum that said I should his name and I wanted to share this with everybody else because I had a horrible time getting it to work. And I'm just glad it's fixed so I can enjoy this amazing game. Battle.net, fix. It. <laughs> this should not be something that it, someone who buys the game has to do all the time. Especially with your new expansions coming out, the game should at least work on the newest OS. Come on. C come on. Alright guys, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If it was helpful to you, please leave a like down below as it shows that I helped somebody and that makes me happy and I like being happy. And thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to hear more from me, The Smooth Spy. And everybody, take care.